But first, for a homespun farmhouse look, don't overlook one decorating staple. It's a hand-me-down piece of stoneware that many of you likely already own, the old-fashioned pickling crock. These large, deep vessels easily found at vintage markets. They're found at boutiques as well, from table centerpieces to just tucking in that tiny corner detail. They seem to fit anywhere. Melanie Miter is bringing them to our attention for Christmas and for always. It's great to see you. Great to have you. Thank you. I'm laughing to myself because I've been hosting this lifestyle show now for a decade and apparently there are still terms. That makes me feel so old. A decade. <laughs> Let's just say 10 years. That sounds yeah, better. That sounds there are still terms I'm learning. Last year was ginger jars. That was new to me and I have no clue. I had no clue what a pickling crock even was. See and I didn't till like two months ago. Okay so I'm not that behind. <laughs> I knew what they were but I never knew that they were for pickling. Well, okay, so what so, are they? Yeah, so Let's actually, start there. we'll start with the history of them first. Yeah. So they were first made in France, and in the 1900s, they started making them in America. Okay. And they, they, they're they made out of clay. Uh -huh. The three main companies are West Red Wing, Western Stone Company, and Crown. Are they still manufacturing to this day? I, I am not quite sure about that. Mm -hmm. I think a couple of them are. But more of a throwback. Yeah, more of a throwback. Um, and they're made out of clay. They're really, really heavy and thick. I saw as you were setting and up this morning. I mean, it, it was your workout for the day. Heavy. Yeah. Yeah. And they were used for keeping things cool. So, like, they would put butter in there. Okay. Actually, this one down here was for moonshine. Oh wow! <laughs> to keep <laughs> keep your booze cool. Well, it, it, so. there are many different <laughs> yes. products and items that we yes. like on the cooler side. And so then, different sizes. Yeah, different sizes, and they're also used for pickling. So you would put your cucumbers in there okay and have them soak to pickle all right yeah so for moonshine to pickling many yes. reasons to like them then why do you like them now I just like I love the patina on them I love that they're heavy and solid and you can you can put them anywhere it's in your something house of and outside there you go something yeah. of substance right yes. to work yes. into your decor it's that statement yes piece. and I love the markings on them and this one doesn't have the marking but like this one and it actually shows like the number. We were like, what is this number on them? Yeah. That's actually how many gallons can fit in the jar. Oh, cool. So, yeah. So to see the old markings and some of them are painted and glazed and some of them are just the clay. Just the smudging and the yeah. fading adds to this overall look. So we mentioned they could be played in many different spaces in your home. Take us yeah. room to room and show us where and how you would maybe style and use these. Okay, so for instance, this one we use in our in our store all the time. We put our paintbrushes in. It's a great thing to put like your kitchen utensils in. Oh yeah. Like your rolling pins and your wooden spoons and we have a lot of people come in and asking for those to for their kitchens. I believe it or your craft yeah. room or, or any your craft place you room, need those any tools. place you need kind of bigger, longer tools. Uh -huh. um, and then just even in your like your living room to put some greenery and put some floral in them. And like in one of the pictures, they used it as a side table. They just put okay. a wood tray on top of a larger, it was probably a 10, 12 gallon jar. Wow. So, so it's yeah. that impact. You walk into a home, you see that entrance table. If you do have that kind of set up display, that entry yeah. display, this would be perfect. Tell me what you, you talk about greens. Obviously these lend themselves more toward the Christmas side of the street, mm -hmm. but I think it's beautiful how you've worked in the different textures and the different shades of green. So talk us through the styling of this one. So this one is actually, this is all fake. It looks is real. It? Mm -hmm. oh These my are gosh. all fake. And this, I love like this lamb's ear that kind of has a softer, furry feel to it. Mm -hmm. And then bringing in the sparkly, bringing in the pine cones, making it just really natural and what you would find outside and just stuff into there. As you break so. this down, it wouldn't be too hard to transition from Christmas back to winter. I mean, you lose exactly. a pine just cone Just take the two. pine cones out and yeah. leave the lamb's ear and then You brought in some sparkly. berries for color. And yes. do you find where the base is so substantial and huge and prominent is more and more on the top or do you like to play it a little more sparing and loose? I, I think I like a little bit to come out around it to droop. to kind of frame it yeah and it's great too because you can use these outside so you can even put like a real tree in it or oh, wow because they're so heavy and so substantial well, they're durable they're yeah. absolutely yeah. durable here you've gone from more kind of the bushy and full yes effect. yes and actually here I wanted to show like a candle how to make like a candle arrangement. Look how you group these with these yeah. singular skinny kind of mini compared mm -hmm. to the at least the size yeah, of the... Yeah, the big size and mm -hmm. I actually put them in a jar. Okay. So you can keep them, they kind of fill down a little bit and fill them up with rocks or 
we forgot our rocks today. I like how you grouped them though <laughs> yeah. and tied with just a and basic tied them. twine. And always be looking for vintage candles. These these yellow ones right here are vintage old Pretty. candles that they that we found in a an antique store. How would you fill this up then and dress so this, this out? So this, which is great, because you, I am not about like cutting and mess and everything. This actually, I just twist down in. Oh, you can wrap it yep, right around. Yeah, just wrap it around the, wrap it around the jar. See, this is an example of I make things way too hard. <laughs> I would be cutting and trimming and, and placing. And trimming and placing. And perfecting, and you're just wrapping it's, and shoving. It's, and it, yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah, just to see and to lift the candles so when you light them, uh -huh. it doesn't, whoops. Super it doesn't pretty. go down and start your greenery on Oh, fire. I'm loving it. I'm loving yeah. it. Okay, pickling crock. That's your new term of the day. New for at least me, <laughs> kind of new to Trendy Melody, which makes me feel better. <laughs> and beautiful ways to dress them up for Christmas and beyond. This is great inspiration. Of course, we'll get other inspiration from your store if we were to pay a visit right now. I'm sure it's decked out in Christmas glory. Yes, it is. it looks beautiful. It looks really pretty and Christmassy. And there we actually have a, quite a few crocs in there now. Mm -hmm. So you can come get one for yourself for a little Christmas present. Not for your feet, <laughs> not the crocs for your feet, but the crocs for the your crocs home. For your Where home. do we find you? We are on Main Street in Kaysville. Nice, thank you so yeah. much.